When a book is written about Jewish philanthropy in the 21st and 20th century, Morris and Vivian Bull's philanthropy should serve a chapter of major importance. He was born in 1923 in the East End of London to immigrant parents from Eastern Europe. From these humble beginnings, Maurice Wool's vision, enterprise, and commitment made him one of the great Jewish philanthropists of our time. I'd like to welcome everybody to the launching of the book, Building a Life of Giving Together. Together with his wife Vivian, his partner in all things, he touched and changed and immeasurably enriched countless lives of men, women, and children, of Jews and non-Jews alike, through his tireless support for health, art, education, and Jewish life. I suspect that the instinct to create a work of art to honor the walls flowed not only from their love of art, but from the fact that their lives themselves were the carefully structured lovingly executed and aesthetically magnificent work of art. Morris was brought up in a very traditional, almost Hasidic uh, family background. His father was a rabbi, so he would have known from his childhood the concept of tzedakah, whether it was as a result of religious inspiration or simply his concern for his fellow human being and fellow Jews in particular, he was compassionate. Mr. Morris World for Services to Charity. Morris was driven to philanthropy by the fact that he was endowed by the Almighty, by the Kadosh Baruch Hu, and, and, and built wealth of his own to see the world around him and, and give. He gave a lot, way beyond what one would expect. He was a very committed Jew and a very committed Zionist. Morris was always punctilious to ensure that his philanthropy was used in the most efficient and effective way. And he took great personal interest in ensuring that this was done. And I know that in discussions with Morris, he always looked upon the JDC, the joint, as the leading international organization that would ensure that this was carried on. Vivian was a wonderful human being. She was warm and friendly and good-hearted. She was caring. She was extremely interested in what goes on in the country. For the walls themselves, were keenly aware that their giving should not only contribute, but inspire others. This Jerusalem, with its troubled history, is being the church to flower and bloom, to be a city of peace and beauty, of tranquility and charm. People of peace will come to the city of peace to enhance its beauty. To the citizens of Jerusalem and the people of Israel, may the Walrose Park of Jerusalem be an area of beauty and a source of inspiration. May generations walk the paths of this park in peace and solitude and enjoy the splendor of its surroundings. I thank you. We decided to integrate images from the actual institutional buildings the Walls constructed with texts that inspired, reflected, exemplified, and embodied their personal values and the extraordinary life they built together. How appropriate for my uncle and aunt, that what a good name they left behind. A name that is seen by anyone who walks around Yerushalayim, who sees the, the yeshivot, who sees the users, the Rose Park, something that is an abiding legacy. I cannot count the moments during the process when Abba and I would just look at each other in amazement and awe of what these two special people accomplished in their lives and what they have created for Am Yisrael, for Medinat Yisrael, and for humanity. He felt what JDC was doing was important for the Jewish people all over the world. The 
this will not only be for their name, but will also be a legacy that will inspire others to do equally well, to support the wonderful work of the Joint and to support all the other institutions. What Morris Wall did for the JDC should be a model for other board members to follow and for the rest of the Jewish community to take into account that JDC needs a support for Jews all over the world. Yeah.